Nearly half of car shoppers today are not even considering buying an EV. People that are opposed to EVs don't realize how much is changing in the space. If California was its own country, they would rank somewhere around 6th or 7th or something like that in the world and EV adoption at 25%. Half of current EV skeptics will consider an EV within three to five years, according to Cox. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. That's today. I'm in studio with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going, Bill? Hey, it's been a busy day, but I'm doing great. Thank you. All right. Let's talk about what Cox Automotive says about a second wave of EV shoppers is on the way. A current demand is still a problem. Now, this is talking about the United States. Okay, so this is a U.S.-centered article. Nearly half of car shoppers today are not even considering buying an EV. Today's electric vehicle skeptics are on their way to becoming the next EV buyers, a report that might be cold comfort for Tesla and other EV makers struggling with lower demand. Well, Tesla sees this. You know, people in the EV space, they see this, that people that are opposed to EVs don't realize how much is changing in the space as the tech keeps cycling and the cars keep becoming cheaper and we can see that the cars are, are getting cheaper the batteries um are cheaper to produce you know people are always saying we want longer range on the batteries but as you and i've said but why you know they already get as much range as a gas car and as much or more than your bladder can hold <laughs> right you know and, and the article says ev makers such as tesla and rivian are seeing demand for their electric vehicles dry up amid higher prices and legacy car makers such as Ford have slowed down their EV expansion efforts to focus on cheaper hybrids and other offerings. And this is a a uniquely American phenomenon. This isn't happening in the other countries, you know, and the other countries are far ahead. The United States is several years behind the rest of the world in how EV adoption, although I saw this thing by Gavin Newsom. He was saying if California was its own country, they would rank somewhere around sixth or seventh or something like that in the world and EV adoption at 25%. Yeah, if they were their own country, they would be, I think it's either the fourth or the fifth largest country, uh, globally speaking. Can, you know, for economy. Economy, yeah, for the size of their economy. Yeah, so, I mean, th- there there's that as well, but what are they saying? They're saying within the next 10 years, 80% of today's skeptics will be ready to consider an EV as more barriers fall. You know, and that, that puts it out to 2034 and that, but I, I really think people are going to see huge changes in the next two, three years because it, there's so many changes. There, there's, it's going to be possible within 10 years, the time difference between filling up with gas and filling up at a supercharger is going to be negligible. We're going to be talking in a couple of minutes. I did see somebody talk about a lot of EV charters though are not located near where there's bathroom facilities, and that's not very smart thinking. Whoever put those ones in, we, we, yeah, we we're starting to learn that now from that uh, ladder size study that was done. Oh yeah, yeah. So you don't want to go to one and go to the other. I saw some guy he was uh, interviewing some guy pulling out of with a cyber truck pulling out of a uh, gas station and the guy had stopped to get a slushy you know <laughs> a slushy or a plushy <laughs> a slushy you know he had it in his hand he he wanted a slushy so he still had to go to the gas station but it was it was pretty funny let's see half of current ev skeptics w- will consider an ev within three to five years according to cox i i think you know once you get over the maybe the next election cycle you're going to have a whole lot less grandstand because doesn't matter who's elected president. Neither of them will be able to run again because it would be second term for either of them, right? Exactly. So, so I, I think you're going to see some things go differently in the second term because they're not running for re-election. So you, you'll you'll see some different politics. Hi, I'm David with EB World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.